Hello guys, good morning. Good morning all of you. Welcome to this um, class, which is gonna be the eighth one. Yeah, and then we're gonna continue with the online classes. We are like uh, following the steps and well, we are here. In less than two minutes, uh, I'm gonna start with the class, okay? So I'll see you in less than two minutes. Meanwhile, please do me a favor and type your name grading group and the word present, okay? So in less than two minutes, the class will start. Okay, guys, so let's begin. Let's begin and, well, I'm gonna check who is here. Hello, guys, good morning. Then, yeah, we are here. Welcome to my office again. And then we're gonna work today with, um, with a different kind of classes, all right? I'm gonna explain to you how it's gonna be the way we're gonna work today and, well, let me check who is here, okay? Welcome to this beautiful week, which is about to start, okay? Perfect. Then Jenny, good morning. Miguel, hello. Then Gabriela Vargas, Laurita, Valeria Sanchez, Marina Félix, Dani Soe, very good, Marina Vadillo. Then Alondra, Díaz Terriquez, Mabel Ochoa, Álvaro, Naomi, Nicole Castro, then Poncho, we have it here, Raul, Mariana Yolotzin, Valeria Rodriguez, Majo, Elias Solano, Annabel, then Gael, Luciana, Fermacías, Jose Aceves, Lilia, Montserrat, what a miracle, then Itzel, Ruth, Fergueta, Arlin, Andrés de la Torre, Andy Pérez, uh, Lorena, Hector in this case, which is Daniel. Then Daniela Gonzalez, Junuem, very good. Ale, Lara, Elia Sierra, Luisa Paola, Karim, Sophie Carlos, and Daphne. All right, very good. We have uh, now Ricardo and Paola Raigosa. Very good. Now, guys, uh, I hope you got a perfect weekend. Yeah. I want to start like uh, making questions about this, and then you have to answer. You have to answer my my question in the chat. Just the person that I'm gonna ask, okay? Just the person that I'm gonna ask. In this case, the person that I'm gonna ask is gonna be. Let me check it. Hmm. Let me check if you are here. All right. So yeah, I have it. I'm gonna give you only one minute or two minutes to answer, okay? So you have to type that, that information in the chat, okay? Very good. And the question is for you, because you have not participated. Valeria Rodriguez. Valeria Rodriguez, the question is, how was your weekend? Okay, what do you do on the weekend? Remember that I always ask you, this uh for this information in the beginning of the week okay so today is monday so valeria rodriguez could you please tell us and share with us what do you do on the weekend teacher is quarantine i just stay at home yeah what do you do at home right i want to give you only one minute to answer this valeria 
because when you finish with that with the answer we're going to continue with the um, with the class that i'm going to give you right now okay so one minute please valeria rodriguez what did you do if you don't answer in one minute or in in yeah in one minute you will not have the assistance all right Yes, you. Yes, you, Valeria Rodriguez. Is there any other Valeria Rodriguez? No, right? So, one minute, hurry up. JP, good morning. All right, very good. What else? What else do you do, Valeria? Okay, I watched. Very good. Genuine, please stop. What else, Valeria? Only that? I mean, in three days, you only watch a series? Hmm. Is that all? Yeah. Very good. We have it here. And I finished a job from history. And I finished a job from history. Very good. Well, yeah, thank you. With this information, it's good. I just want you to, to, to be here in the class, all right? I just want you to, to stay here with us, OK? Very good. You have your, your assistance. Very good. Now, could you please write what you did on the weekend, please, Ale Lara Briseño? No. No, you know him. All right. Ale Lara Briseño, could you please share with us what are you doing on the weekend, please? Because you got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What do you do? If you stayed at home, what did you do? Thank you, Valeria Rodriguez. You are here. Okay. Alejandra Danae, Lara Briseño, could you please share with us what did you do? What you did on the weekend, please. Frankie Denki, good morning. JP, good morning. Daniel, good morning. Ale, you have one minute. If you don't answer in this one minute, perfect. Uh, nice. I cleaned my house. I watched Modern House. Very good. So you cleaned your house. Perfect. At least you're helping at home. Very good. I like that. Then, and obviously, stayed at home. Ha <laughs> ha. Very good. This is your 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 the way you you laugh, right? If I just uh, why don't you write lol or something? Laugh out loud. Very good. All right, thank you, Ale. Very good. And obviously, I stayed at home. Awesome. One more. Pay attention. One more person. One more person, and the person it's gonna be in this case Alondra Diaz Terriquez. Alondra Diaz Terriquez, what do you do? What do you do in this long weekend? Because you didn't have class on Friday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. What do you do? What do you do? Alondra Diaz Terriquez, what do you do? Now is your turn. Daniel, so sorry, man. You have a perfect picture in your profile. The best team ever. Barcelona, yeah. Well, so sorry. It's Alondra Diaz Terrique's turn. Alondra, you have only one minute. Please, could you please um, share with us what you did on the weekend? Please. Remember that I'm gonna start like like asking you 
And then this way, I'm going to check if you are here. Perfect. Alondra de Azariques is here. And then it says, I did exercise and I ate and watched series. You ate a series? Hmm. You ate a series. What is the flavor of a, of a series, Alondra? Yeah. What kind of exercise did you run? Did you... Did you make the push-ups? Yeah. I don't know. Could you please be like more specific? I ate series. Hmm. You are the first person that I know. Yeah. That is eating series. Very good. Awesome. Every day you have something new to learn. How to eat a series. Very good. What else, Alondra? What else do you do? What else? Only that stuff? At least could you please share with us what is the flavor of a city? Siri in this case. It's not a city. City is like Guadalajara and then... No? Okay, so guys, we're going to start with, with the class. Remember that, uh, well, you did homework. Perfect. And so on, or that's it. Guys, remember that it is very important to take notes, okay? The class that I'm going to give you today is going to be simple, all right? I just want you to answer all the questions that I'm going to make, that I'm going to ask here okay in the slides of powerpoint you will see some images then if you were like in the beginning of the class it says um comprehension what is comprehension in general do you really comprehend do you really pay attention in all the stuff you you have around you or surrounded you do you really think um in the big problems we have or you're the person like ah, i don't care i'm gonna live my life and that's it that is a big question and it's and it's and it's good to to analyze it right so the class uh today is going to be everything about comprehension yeah we we have like some different uh types of comprehension like for example listening comprehension reading comprehension yeah and so on so we're gonna uh, work today just in comprehension in general how is the way to think are you thinking in a good way or just you think the the first thing you think is the one you're going to put in practice you don't analyze it yeah meditation yeah it's very important here so I want you just to pay attention here because um, the class is going to be this one. Very good. If you have questions, remember that I'm going to open a parenthesis and time for questions. Guys, I want you to answer all the questions that I'm going to give you. All right? Please. Okay? Perfect. And awesome. Awesome. All right, so you know that this is the beginning of the class. Yeah, the it's going to be the eighth class, the eighth English class, third grade junior high, and it's going to be the stuff that I already told you like one minute ago, which is going to be about comprehension, right? Comprehension. What is it? Well, I want you to take notes, okay? What's comprehension or what is comprehension? It is the ability to understand completely and be familiar with a situation, fact, opinion, blah, 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 etc., etc. Okay? Very good. Again, what is a comprehension or what's comprehension? It's the ability to understand completely and be familiar with a situation, with a fact, with something in general. Okay? 
the ability to understand completely and be familiar with a situation, okay? That is to comprehend, okay? To understand, yeah? Very good. Remember that in English, guys, we have the ability, the ability, it's without H, okay? In English, it's without H. In Spanish, it's with H. So, well, I hope you, you copy all this information in your notebook or in your whatever you're using, because I'm gonna go to the next one. Guys, um, if we have a quiz, all the all the questions that I'm that I'm asking you here in the slides and in just I mean just uh, when I speak, they are gonna be in, in the in the quiz or in the exam that I'm gonna apply in the test. All right. So it's very important for you to have all the notes. Okay. Good. Number one, first question, analyze the picture. Do you like it? You don't like it? Is it good? It's not good? All right, the question is, how can you describe this image? Teacher, but when I take notes, I don't have the, the, the image. I know. I want you to write only image number one and then the question that I'm, that I'm um, giving you here, okay? This is the way you have to do it. Write image number one or a first image and then you're gonna write this question and obviously you're gonna answer this question okay i'm gonna give you for each question uh for each question i'm gonna give you two minutes okay two minutes to answer this question okay how can you describe this image hmm Use your own words, guys, okay? Use your own words, okay? It is very important to be like, uh, to be you, all right? To be creative, be you, guys. Do not, do not be fake, please. So two minutes for this. Two minutes for this question. How can you describe the image? How can you describe it? That's a question. How can you describe the image? Is it beautiful? It's not. It is dangerous. Hmm. To be honest, if I if I uh, if I were no not if I were you if you ask me the same question like how can you describe this this image? Well, it's weird that that image is weird because for a human being it's hard it's hard uh, to live there, yeah. Because you have no stores, you have no access in general, you have no um, no possibilities to to go out just like to i mean just to think about everything yeah it is a beautiful place yeah it is a beautiful place but i cannot like live there if you ask me okay it is dangerous yeah because imagine if if we have the the earthquake maybe everything is going to be like down yeah destroyed by the earthquake okay but in the other hand we have a beautiful landscape in which if you pay attention imagine from this window imagine from this window everything you can see all the stuff you can see from this window imagine it or from these ones oh my god that's beautiful yeah but i would stay just like one day or two or three maybe right in this in this house which is kind of Chinese, yeah, from Thailand, from uh, all those weird places, Nepal, all those, yeah. And, well, that is my description of the picture, okay? I hope you already finished with the first description, because if not, perfect. All right, wait, we have some questions here. Uh, a lot of trees, yes, a lot of trees, but you don't have to describe it here, Jenny. You don't have to describe them here. You have to describe it in your notebook, okay? Please. 
we write the description in the notebook yes elias please all the description in the in the notebook and that is the first question over six or seven okay it's big and beautiful i like the house very good this information please sophie put it in your in your notes okay all the information put it in put them in, in your notes okay the image i can see mountains stones a lot of yard and trees there's also a house this information in your notes not here this information in your notes not here because remember at the end of the class you're going to send all the information to my email okay so this image shows a chinese temple that it's at two mountains borders this image makes me feel relaxed because of the landscape very good nice nice definition daniel so lorena very good it is a very large white house which is located in a mountain full of trees and has a beautiful landscape behind very good i really like your 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 definitions okay remember you have to participate right but in this case the participation or all the stuff like this uh definitions are gonna be in your notebook all right in your notebook okay second one yeah so next image is this one i want you to pay attention and the image is this one what will you do pay attention to the question what would you do if you were here hmm teacher maybe if i were there i would set on fire yeah i would put fire in front of me with a cup of coffee or tea yeah and if i am with my friends maybe we have a um, bohemian night like with with a guitar maybe with with a speaker yeah or or counting horror stories or maybe beautiful stories yeah what would you do if you were there two minutes for this information remember you don't have you don't have to write everything in the chat it's in your notes okay they're gonna be in your notes what would you do if you were here guys image number two the question and then the answer please hurry up two minutes think about it guys imagine you are there yeah imagine you are there imagine uh the situation yeah because in this way is to comprehend okay this information this class is to comprehend to think obviously in english yeah like uh, some of you were doing it in the first picture yeah think about it and try to practice your english all right this is the main idea of this class to comprehend and to practice english okay one more minute a night there would be beautiful and cold yeah as you can see it, um, it seems to be kind of uh fresh and cool all right so yeah i would have spent the night there with my friends and and now we're with my daughter and my wife oh, it will be beautiful okay would you go fishing there yeah what would you do because you have a lake in front maybe you can go fishing yeah image number two what would you do if you were here Well, Ricardo is a temple in the middle of a mountain. It's beautiful but dangerous with a lot of trees. Very good. I will be finishing fishing all day. Daniel, these notes in the I mean this information in your notes. Fishing. I like fishing. Me too. I really like fishing. Okay. Ricardo, what a picture is this? Is it one from from the chocolate? Chocolate? Yeah chocolate 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 very good all right the notes are going to be in your notebook guys please what will you do if you were there well i already explained you what is that and then we already finished with the two minutes next picture pay attention 
what a beautiful place oh my god i would uh, like spend all my time there but yeah let me check the question says would you build would you build a cabin in this beautiful place yes and why and why not okay would you build a cabin cabin is like when you go to to Tapalpa or Mazamitla, a cabin is like made of wood. It's a house made of wood, okay? Cabin in this beautiful place. Remember, cabin is a, is a house made of wood. Okay, that's a cabin. So why, why not? Okay. So teacher, what is the amount of, of lines you can see in each answer? Uh, you don't have a limit. Just explain me all the stuff that I'm asking right now, okay? please this is beautiful i would say yes i would buy a cabin yeah next to this tree over here in this place over here i would um build a cabin here maybe with two floors yeah and with hmm, with climate inside what is this the air conditioner yeah inside and well i this is just like um a river in which i can mm, go fishing yeah i would like go hunting i really like hunting okay here in mexico well in guadalajara we don't have the, the the big possibilities to go hunting but yeah i love it yeah beautiful beautiful place would you buy it like a house here would you build it yes or no one more minute one more minute for this information very good i want you to be like this work please Yes, Mariana Felix, that is cabin. Yeah. No, because I don't want to kill nature. Oh my God. You are like uh, giving me the example of comprehend. You're thinking. All right. Very good. Daniel, nice. You are in the class. Perfect. All right. So, next image. It says, now pay attention to this image. I want you to think, okay? What would you do if you were there? Would you give, just imagine in front of you these little uh, kids asking for something. You don't know if they are asking for, for money. You don't know if they are, they are asking for, for food, which is logical. Yeah. What would you do if you were there in front of them, in front of those uh, kids, and then look at, uh, at the faces? And then what would you do? Would you reject them? Like, oh, no, no, please don't touch me. Like like, like my favorite uh, phrase, right? Or, oh my God, I'm gonna give you this, or this one, or this one, food, or whatever. What would you do, guys? That's, that's, the, that's the question. Would you go? Like, would you continue with your with your um, stop with your way, or would you stop? I don't know. I want you to think about it and tell me what would you do. What would you do if you were there? What would you do if you were there? Two minutes. What would you do if you were in front of those kids? What would you do? It's kind of sad, huh? Because maybe uh, I remember one day, I don't know who was the one I think was it was who was the one, Ricardo or Elias? I can't remember, but 
we were like playing volleyball in the during the recess and then one of you your your dish of chilaquiles it was like completely face down on the floor i don't know who was the one and now uh, and then um it, well, it was an accident but imagine those kids those kids if, if they can see the, the chilaquiles on the floor they, they would eat them of course and then you left them, you left the, the chilaquiles there for Beethoven, right? I don't know who was the one, or maybe Iker. Oh, Iker is, is never in the, in these classes. Not even Gustavo. Gustavo is not in these classes. Well, yeah, they're gonna fail, not me. Yeah, all right, so you finished? You already finished? That was the image number four. This is the image number four, okay? The first one was about the Chinese temple. The, um, the number two, it was about the lake in front and then in which I told you that I would drink a coffee, a cup of, a cup of uh, coffee. The, sec the third one is, what is like, like the one about, the third one is uh, the one about uh, the cabin. And this is the image number four. Remember that I want you to write image number four, the question and then the answer, okay? Perfect. Next. Huh. Some of you guys, some of you pay attention to this beautiful image. Okay. Would you push a person? Just imagine you are this boy. Okay. Imagine you are this boy. And then you have in front of you someone you really hate. Someone you really hate or someone you really love or someone you someone that is your friend. That's why the question in, in general, would you push a person here? Would you do it? Yes, no, why, why not? If you ask me, if you ask me, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if this person, it doesn't matter if this person is, is that the first, the first one in my top 10 list of haters. Yeah. I won't, I won't do it. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. Because for instance, this person, if I push the person, is gonna go like obviously to I mean it's gonna go to 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 the to the hell in this case, right? The person is going to be dead, obviously. And I don't wanna kill anyone, okay? So now would you push a person? Yes. Or maybe like you are paying attention in the class and then someone that is a class clown always interrupting 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 i would do it okay i would like hey but i would do it like out of the classroom not from a heel okay like some of you i've been like getting you out like a lot of times leonel and all those okay so well oh my god Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Okay. So all of you, I can't believe it. Ale, you said yes. Would you push that person? Oh my God. Okay. So if I were that person would you push it would you push me just imagine i'm i'm like um on a hill and then you're behind me would you push me would you push me you know you say yes oh my god but i know me i finished very good poncho yes valeria rodriguez yes paola yes carmen oh my god yes 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 only if she were you know him. Oh my God! You know him. You are in problems. Very good. Awesome. 
Well, no, no, it's not good, you know, but yeah, you're participating. Only if she were, you know, oh, Miguel, you too? Oh my God, you know, you have two people against you. Very good. Then, Marina Felix. Ah, come on. English, please. English. Then, Maria Sanchez. No, I mean, that's psycho. Very good. Someone that is thinking right now. Not only because, because I don't like the person. Nicole, yeah. Something easy. No, teacher, I won't do it. Very good. We were saying... Uh, okay. <laughs> Very good. I think I answered before seeing the image. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know, Ruth. They were saying yes to the other thing, I think. Very good. Teacher, yeah, I know. Well, at least, no, no teacher. We were talking about something else. Very good. Well, at least, I was, I was thinking about my students are kind of psycho or nuts or crazy. Very good. Nice. No teacher, yes, in your image. Very good. Awesome. No teacher, why no? Thank you. Something stupid and bad. Oh my God. Yeah. I wouldn't touch you. I wouldn't touch you. Don't you know me? Uh, yeah, that's why I'm asking you. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I know you, you, if you, if you have me in front of you, you wouldn't push me. Yeah. It doesn't matter if I already talked to you in a bad way. You, you won't do it. But Rodriguez, yes, from the other image. Well, I know, yeah. Uh, very good. Okay, let's go and move on to the next image. Okay. Next image. Well, imagine this lady. Just imagine that I am that person. And then would you push me? You said, no, teacher, I wouldn't do it. That's something stupid and bad. You said it, not me. Okay. Very good. And the last one. This is the biggest question in this class, okay? Now, have you ever been, pay attention to this uh, question, have you ever been a good person? Just go back in, in the whole life until you can remember, okay? Until you were like five or four years, yeah? Since you were a child, okay? Since you were a child until now. Have you ever been a good person? No. Why not? Yes. Why? Okay. So I'm going to give you this little phrase, which is uh, something that I looked from. Um, uh, yeah, I, I found it in the, um, in the internet, on the web. But yeah, I really like this, this phrase. Okay. It says, at the end of the day, like always, at the end of the day, I'm a good person. I'm not perfect by any means, but my intentions are good. In this case, um, well done, okay? My heart is pure and I love heart with everything I've got. What is this? Everything that I have, I really love it. It doesn't matter if it is few, a little, or a lot, okay? But everything that I have, I love it. If it's a lot, good. If it's a little, it's good. But it's, it's, it's the stuff that I have. I can I cannot do anything like more. All right? It's the stuff that I have. So what else? Are you going to get mad or are you going to complain about this? No, it's the stuff um, you have in this life. And then, well, love it hard. Okay? Very good. And the question says... Have you ever been a good person? If you go back, guys, in, in life, we have a lot of mistakes. Yeah, we have a lot of mistakes in which you're going to say, no, in, in that situation, in that day that I acted kind of bad or, or I acted like a child, yeah, and now I can remember and I said, I was, I was bad in that situation, but then now, would you do it again? If you do it again, it's because something bad is happening here, okay? So, have you ever been a good person? Guys, to have a mistake in your life is not to, to be a bad person, okay? 
to be a bad person is like you had that mistake and then you don't care. You don't do something to change it. That is a bad person. But it, in the other hand, if you have a mistake, like you said, about, you have to say something, you said a really bad word to, to a friend, but offensive, not like those ones you, you, you know how to say, okay? You, you say something bad to a friend, like something offensive, and then eh, I don't care. And then you, you're the same like the next, the, the next day, that is bad. But if you say, oh my God, you know what? I, I, I said something bad. Forgive me, please. It was not my intention. Yeah. And then you're not going to do it again. That is a good person. That is going to be a good person. It's not going to be like, I, I didn't say anything bad. No, it was not my bad. Uh, why do I have to say sorry? That is a bad person. All right. So the question is, have you ever been a good person? Perfect. I, I want you to think, guys, in the situations, okay? Awesome. Uh, poverty. <laughs> yes, Ricardo, do not be mean, please. I don't like this type of questions. I know. I know. Teacher, how many time before the questions? Two minutes each question, Sophie. I told you in the beginning, yeah, two minutes each question, okay? This question is good because you're going to, well, if you're good, if you're a good person, you're going to try to 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 think before you do bad things, all right? Because we know that all the information, all the things, yeah, we know if it is good or if it is bad. Yeah, you're not going to say, teacher, to kill a person is good. Oh my God, obviously it's not. It is in the Ten Commandments, okay? It's bad. Do not kill, all right? Well, I'm saying something obvious, but if you say, teacher, is it bad to cheat on my boyfriend or to, che or to cheat on my girlfriend? What do you think? Is it good? Is it bad? To cheat is bad in general. But it's worse when you cheat on your on your couple, boyfriend or girlfriend. Change the situation. Think about it. What do you think? Good or bad? If you if you go to the the other side, good or bad? How do you feel? Obviously bad. All right. So please. Are you ready, guys? Are you ready? Just let me know if you are ready because I'm going to give you the activity. I'm going to give you the activity. Are you ready with all the questions and the answers? Because if you are not ready, you can go back and check the questions that I already made. Okay? No? Perfect. If you have no questions. All right. Very good. All of you. Oh, my God. Perfect. Yep, 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 yep. Already. Very good. All right. The activity is the next one. Awesome. Thank you, guys. You're cool. You're cool. Now, this morning, you were, like, amazing. You were participating, all of you. Gael, do you have money or what is this S? Dollars? Do you have dollars now? All right, perfect. Give me some. Give me some dollars because I really need money. All right. Yeah, so perfect. All of you are ready. Very good. Well, just not all of you. Just the people that are here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Very good. 21 people. Well, 22 with JP. And, well, the activity is the next one. Pay attention. This is going to be the activity. Then, Jose Aceves, you are here, finally. This is the activity. What a beautiful place. Look at it. I mean, I'm going to go back again. I really like this, this image. Oh, what? Well, anyways, activity. 
activity send the writing explaining if you have been a good person why and why not all right a writing is not like i'm asking for 170 words no just the description of your uh of the way you think if you were uh doing your job good or not yeah if you were acting like a good person or a bad person or some situations in which in which you acted kind of bad okay and send send all the questions answered all right do me a favor it's the stuff that i told you you're gonna write image number one the question and the answer image number two the question and the answer image number three blah 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 okay you're gonna send me all these questions answered to my email and then you're gonna send me the little writing a paragraph or three or or four or five or seven i don't know it's gonna be up to you about the last image about about this image okay have you ever been a good person yes why why not okay that is all the information that i want you to to send you have for this information if you want to send it um in these 10 minutes do it if not you have only 24 hours okay 24 hours remember that this is going to be the activity that you don't finish in the class it's going to be for homework all right you know this that um it's going to be automatically okay so all the information you you couldn't finish in the class is for homework which is gonna be this information all right so send me both please okay send me both and then i think we already finished with this class okay i think we already finished with this class then it says uh ricardo can it be the answer from the last question if it is just with a line do it a little bit longer ricardo please do it a little bit longer all right please then if it is more than two lines leave it like that ricardo okay very good uh paula raigosa it says can we make the writing like an answer for the last question is the stuff that i said like in the last question from ricardo paula if you hmm, if you have like more than than two lines leave it like that if not do a little bit more and that is the, the the answer okay any other question because it's time to go any other question no no questions now okay so if you have no questions that's all for me guys then welcome to this week again it's a pleasure to be your teacher yeah then i really want to go back i really want to go back and and have the classes physically all right so frankie thank you okay thanks teacher very good we have 24 hours yeah you have 24 hours Valeria rodriguez then Junuem, teacher you haven't answered my mail in which i'm asking you if i have an extra point yeah you have an extra point i told you the last class i mean that's why i don't i don't have to 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 answer you again okay so guys it's a pleasure to be your teacher here yeah JP, teacher, thanks for the class, teacher. You will never walk alone, teacher. Well, remember, maybe Liverpool, thanks by the, for the class. Well, um, you are my son to, in, in the, um, to play. Yeah, you are, you are my, my son in FIFA, man. So, well, anyways, we have the, the, um, the chance to do it. Very good. Have a nice day and a perfect week, guys. Pay attention to your to your classes, okay? Then um, I hope you send me all the information on time, yeah. And in this way, well, in this way, we're gonna be like everything in peace, okay? See you later, alligator. I'll see you later, and please do not forget to send your information, okay? Thank you, Daniel. I will check it. And then if you have questions, go back to the platform and check and check the class again. Right. See you later. It's a pleasure to be here. Goodbye, everyone.